Hold on. Keep a control, I just have to keep it in the middle. But I guess. That's beautiful. Hold up the racket. Let me see it. That's gorgeous. That's perfect. Tell me when to look. One, two, three. Beautiful. <laughs> That's it. That's. Hi, Lucas. Lucas. Woo! <laughs> People get dizzy with my, my rackets going all over the place. What a match, everybody! Through to the semifinals, the kid from Florida. You want to hear a few more things right now? Luke Montgomery, everybody. How you doing? Luke, 6'4", six, 6'4", four, six, four, tough player. You seem to really be riding your serve tonight with a lot of aces. Yeah, I, uh, well, in the beginning there, it wasn't too consistent, but yeah, I came through at the end. I just kind of got back in my rhythm, so, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's early in the season. You won four titles last year. Here you are in the finals again. It's got to feel good. Definitely good to be here. Well, tough opponent tonight, and uh, it just seems like these L.A. fans just love you here, and I think that probably helped pull you through. Right? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. I don't get, I mean, I, I definitely love the fact that there's, you know, some full support. I just uh, don't know where it comes from, but uh, why not, you know? Your thoughts about the final tomorrow? Uh, a little nervous, not, yeah. you know, but just take it like any other game. You know, right next to you. And there seems to be a beautiful young lady with dark hair who's been following you around with, with the media. Is that a media thing, or you're, is there something you, going on? You have an informant of some sort, somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> you got anything for me? Uh, I, I can tell you that I uh, I have a fiance now. Wow. Yeah. So. Well, I've, congratulations. I, well, no wonder you, you're playing you. so well. Yeah. Uh, positive energy in the stands, you know. So it's good. Good life. Well, thanks for talking to us. Good luck through to the finals, everybody. Luke Montgomery. <laughs> good luck tomorrow. It's hard to say the whirlwind of, of events that have, that have taken place. I'm deeply disappointed. Uh, any more questions? Serving. Thanks. Can we get just a minute of your time? Sure. What's up? I don't know if you heard, but the qualifier just won the uh, the other semifinal. Sort of the upset of the tournament, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's the number three against the loser. Well, I mean, you can never underestimate an opponent. Uh, of course, but I mean, no one would bet on him to beat. But that's personal, you know? Well, it does put us in uh, sort of an interesting position uh, where we could stand to make a pretty large amount of money. Yeah, we talk about a ton of money, a million, not like a couple of dollars we get usually. You know what I mean? Sorry, I don't follow. It's simple. We want you to throw the match. <laughs> it's nothing. You just throw in a few double faults. Hold oh, on. You want him to uh, tank the match. I'm sorry, guys. No, thank you. But uh, so have a good day. for me to eat here. There's nothing vegetarian. Baby, hey, what do you want me to do? You want me to change the menu for you? Huh? You guys would excuse Candy's me. Candy's on a twist. Yeah, I, I, I still can't get over the men's from practice earlier today. I wouldn't even give a second thought. I don't know. I mean, wh why would I fix a tennis match? Tell me why. I mean, for money? <laughs> Come on. I mean, do you think they were serious? 
I mean, do people make that much money off of betting off a tennis match? Or am I that naive? <laughs> Enough questions. There's a lot of scumbags out there that uh, do anything to make a buck. You got a match tomorrow to focus on, so keep your mind straight. Yeah, I know. I mean, I just feel like I, don't, I feel like I should contact the tennis officials or. Don't make a big deal out of this, please. It just doesn't make any sense. I, mean, I don't. Uh, excuse I've me. I've never. Can we chill out about this, please? I mean, it's cool. Did I ever tell you that you have the most beautiful eyes? Did I ever tell you that you're a pig? Yes, baby, many times. When are you going to stop playing hard to get and admit that the man you want to be marrying is me? Seriously, Johnny? It was just a kiss. Is that what we're calling it now? Yeah, you're right. Now, yeah, baby, you run to your boy Luke. Luke, Luke. I'm tired of hearing that name. Yes, yes, go with it. It'll all be it'll all be taken care of. Listen, Luke, we gotta talk. What's up, man? Um, I, I didn't know how to tell you this before, but I'm in some trouble. What's wrong? Um, those uh, men yesterday. I've been in contact with them for the last year or so. I can't fucking this believe is your this, time man. to pay me back, alright? Really? Get I out. need you here. Get out. Luke. What are you looking at me like that for? You're part, are you part of the, You guys are both in this together, aren't you? Hmm? Is that what the case is? It is. <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. With you, get the fuck. Let's get out of here. Luke. Out. Luke. Out.
And please give a warm Southern California welcome to the number 17 player in the world, the speedster from Estonia, Mark Marcel. And to the right of the chair, this 22-year-old had a stellar junior career. And on the Pro Tour, he's rocketed up the rankings, breaking to the top 100 in 2007 after winning River Oaks. Riding his Thunderclap serve, he quickly cracked the top 20 last season, winning Master Series events in Indian Wells and in Cincinnati. He also captured titles at San Jose last February and Washington, D.C. during the summer. He also reached the semifinals on the grass at Wimbledon. He was a doubles finalist at New Haven. He comes to Los Angeles as the number three player in the world. From Miami, please welcome the All-American boy, the charismatic kid with the monster serve, Lou Montgomery. Six, seven, six. Man, I'm deeply, uh, I'm deeply disappointed that uh, I was, you know, betrayed by people who have been with me since since day one of my career, and. Uh, uh, I'm just looking forward to, uh, you know, to putting this behind me. So, <laughs> Dave almost caught me on this one. So, um, on that note, uh, happy to have won the, uh, you know, the SC Open again. Um, it was fantastic. And, uh, you know, it's a great way to kick off the new season and I'm looking forward to you know getting married in two weeks <laughs> and uh, you know just put put all this behind me the best that I that I can at the moment and follow through with the season so any more questions <laughs> 